after I went through my divorce and shit, I got two boys. And my boys were my little soldiers. They pulled me through my shit. Because when you went through my shit, you know, I'm crying and shit. I'm in the dark in my room. They was like, man, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. Fuck him. He wasn't strong enough to hang on. Fuck that motherfucker. I'm like, wait a minute now, that's your father. I said, that nigga ain't got no TV show. Fuck that nigga. Shit. We know who paying the mortgage in this motherfucker. That ain't the professor. Fuck him. So I'm like, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. But we gotta eat hot dogs and beans, cause hmm, he getting half your shit. You be trying to be cool with your shit, baby. And so my oldest son, cause my boys are like night and day. And my oldest boy, 17, thug all day. Cornrows in his hair, pants down his ass, but he an honor roll student, so I ain't mad at his shit. Long as you got that shit on paper, handle your program. And he's fucking, I know he's fucking, cause I can hear it. When he talks to me, I can hear it. He left one morning real high. Okay, ma, see you later. Came home, what's up? I said, that's pussy, Nick. That's pussy, I can hear it in your throat. I can hear it in your throat. I can hear it, goddammit. it. I can hear it. Now, he likes to fight. He likes to fight. He likes to shoot and stab and spit. I don't know what the fuck the spitting is for. He said, I gotta make my point after I whip their ass, I spit on them. Okay, but make sure you don't ever spit on me because you're gonna get fucked up real bad. I don't play that, sp <laughs> that spitting shit. That's some nasty shit, but he's a fighter and a cutter. Now my 12 year old, he's a little different. He's a little, he don't like to fight. He's real friendly with, with, the, with the other children. He's real nice with them. And he think the birds are real beautiful, the sounds they make, and the flowers are blooming nicely. I'm like, he's a fag, ain't this a bitch? Shit! <laughs> Be tough, nigga, what the fuck is going on? Shit. But in mine, baby, I'm like, fuck that in mine. So after I went through my divorce, you know, I just stayed home. I go to work, I come home every weekend, I sit down, we play little board games, monopoly and shit, because I wanted to be mother of the year to let them know it ain't about no nigga. It's about y'all, I'ma stay home and do what the fuck I'm supposed to do. So they got tired of fucking with me, like, can you go the fuck somewhere? We tired of playing monopoly and shit. I'm like, well, if I start going out, y'all gonna think I'm a little whore or something. If I bring a little fella home, I don't want you to see me, you know, fucking no little fella if I bring him. He say, I got a bitch in the room right now. She's scared to come out. If you get the fuck up out of here and let us do what the fuck we gonna do. You know, so I respect, I respect this shit. You know how, ladies, when you've been with somebody for so long, like I was with my ex husband for 10 years. And for 10 years, he used to seeing me naked. You know, saying, excuse me. I, I'm not gonna stop no more. I swear for God, I'm not gonna stop. You pimp niggas, sit down. We ain't gonna do this shit no more. No, no the fuck more. Hang up, nigga. Hang, fuck that, hang up, hang up. Whoever the fuck y'all willing and dealing with, not right now. I'm doing a show that's some disrespectful shit. I will fuck all four of y'all up right here on this front. Come on, pimp, come on, pimp. Sit down. And this nigga has a perm. And walk down like din 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 Sit your country ass down, what the fuck? <laughs> That's why I love black ass men, baby. Even though I've been married twice, divorced twice, I still love the fucking ground they walk on. They fucked up, but that's okay. They still my motherfucking people, baby. I, <laughs> and right now they're getting those soft feelings because their asses got checked. Like, man, fuck her, fuck her. No, nigga, fuck you. Get your shit together. Bam, bam, stand right there. Can't see these niggas jump. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Come on, nigga. <laughs> now that nigga whisper, man, I wasn't even doing shit. You see, put this big nigga out here. <laughs> That's why I love my fucking brothers, baby. And you know what? When I first started dating nigga, I say, fuck it. I want to date just a brother who's regular. I don't want no nigga in the business. I want a regular nine to five nigga who can just love me for me. He ain't off of my shit, and he's secure with his shit. So I start fucking with the manager of the Popeyes, thinking <laughs> it could be a real good relationship. He bring home the chicken, I talk about the Parkers. We have a real good time with each other, just enjoying ourselves. And I had never, you know, after 10 years of being with somebody, I'm used to being naked in front of my husband. But I wasn't used to being naked in front of another nigga. And I didn't know if he was gonna be used to seeing my shit when it took me. Mm -hmm. 
And you know how you try to suck in real quick when they cut the lights on? Mm-hmm. Who cut the lights out, nigga? Cut the lights out, nigga! I'm the rain to pass out, cut the lights out! <laughs> Cause they ain't used to all your shit. So we kicked it for about three months till they asked me how much I made. I said, don't do that, player, please, because you're gonna think I'm trying to disrespect you if I put my paycheck on the table and you put your paycheck on the table. Let's just keep enjoying each other's company. You bring home the spicy chicken and the biscuits. And I read my script to you. It's a wonderful little relationship. Don't fuck with my money, please. Nigga, please. Then he said, well, if you really think about it, Monique, you know, what you make, we make. Mm -mm -mm. No, nigga, that don't add up. You work for the Popeyes. I work for the Parker. 